Thank you very much indeed for that paper review. We're going to move on now because when you hear the words Silicon Valley, you probably think of the world's most pioneering technology companies like Google and Facebook, you know, somewhere off the west coast of the States. But if some of Africa's top business brains get their way in the future, we'll be more looking more toward the Rift Valley. That's because they're making their way toward the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, for AfriTech. It's a major summit on online and digital technology and marketing. Io Johnson is its main cheerleader here in Britain, and he's really excited. He's going off to Nairobi later on today. Yes, uh, tell us why you're so excited about this. Well, it's, it's the very first to actually have a massive digital marketing conference of this nature. Yeah. Engaging with businesses, encouraging synergies, and very much informing and doing wealth transfer in terms of technical, technology advancement and information. So right. uh, it, it's huge for the continent, and we've had endless amount of supports from around the world um, and media interest and uh, uh, we are truly excited that this conference can really set the stage for a series of conferences across Africa yeah. where this element of wealth transfer and very much about educational transfer is possible especially having the, the best minds around the world coming to the continent mm -hmm. to be able to deliver and, and provide the best knowledge um, applications of, in terms of addressing Africa's problems. Now, there's a lot of technical stuff you're talking about, knowledge applications, <laughs> <Yeah>. transfer, <laughs> uh, our poor NHS worker is wondering what you're talking about there. Um, can, can you explain in a bit more detail, because um, we're all aware of uh, social networking sites and the impact it had on the North African revolutions, you know, Facebook and Twitter. Is it that kind of thing that companies and businesses and governments are going to be discussing in Nairobi? Is that what you mean by this AfriTech? Well, Afritech is about connecting the dots, mm. bringing people together, engaging, informing, inspiring, and providing confidence for people to go out there and check out information yeah. to be able to get practical solutions in their daily lives. So if you're, if you're asking as to whether the application is going to improve people's lives, absolutely. If it's going to be involved in the best technological advancements in terms of how people can use those technologies to improve themselves, absolutely so. Uh, if it's actually going to be about bringing synergies, businesses coming together uh, and to be able to apply the application better than they currently are, that's what it's all about. Hmm. I'm just wondering, actually, um, I mean, here in this country, <laughs> when you have um, you suspect you've got an illness you mm -hmm. go straight away online don't you mm -hmm. and you look to see whether or not that yeah. cough has um, a cause that you can determine people are self-diagnosing more they and more are. online aren't they? Yes, they i'm are. just wondering yeah. are these are kind of applications these kind of things that you hope people will be able to do more of in africa so africa's underbanked yeah. But also, when it comes to the infrastructure and the information superhighway, there is a digital divide between north and south, isn't there? Mm. And that's is that what you're attacking? That's what we're attacking. We, we, because the digital divide is one about knowledge, mm. it's one about infrastructure, and very much about the ability to use whatever it is you have. And if you, if the, the, the thought process was all about our minds, if, if we can get the best minds yeah. in the world to come